And safety is the reason we go out every week to get you answers about the places that you love to eat. In this week's original restaurant report, Action News Jack's Ben Becker tells us about violations found at a local movie theater and a popular beachside restaurant. The Flying Iguana is a popular place with eclectic tacos, creative entrees, and live music. But inspectors shined light on more than lettuce. <laughs> Ben Becker of Action News Jacks. I paid a visit to Flying Iguana in Neptune Beach. It's a really busy restaurant, and you know, sometimes things slip through the cracks. State inspectors found an employee touching ready to eat food with their bare hands, a mold like substance in an ice machine, and potentially hazardous food temperatures. How does something like this happen? Um, human error, uh, not, I guess, keeping an eye on what's going on as well as possibly should. How are things now? Oh, it's been improved. We've had the inspector come back in and everything's been good. Elsewhere, the original tuna seafood and chicken on 103rd was cited for at least 50 live small flying insects. An employee touching ready to eat food with their bare hands and a wet wiping cloth not stored in a sanitizing solution. It was temporarily closed. Inspectors say the Holiday Inn on North Ponce de Leon Boulevard in St. Augustine had three live roaches, three dead roaches, and 25 live flying insects. It was temporarily closed. Our final spot is the AMC Theater's Orange Park 24. It was cited for live small flying insects, encrusted residue on soda nozzles, and the floor soiled with an accumulation of debris. In the studio, Ben Becker, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.